Hi, let us discuss the another property of the fluids that is surface tension. Before going to the surface tension, we have to know about the two properties. Those are cohesive forces and adhesive forces. Cohesive forces is nothing but force of attraction between the two same type of molecules. Example, water, water, mercury, mercury. Let us discuss about this cohesive forces. Cohesive forces is nothing but force of attraction between the two same type of molecules. Uh, for example, I am taking a, we observe, one, if one water, water molecule is here and another water molecule is here, whenever they come close together, they, wa they want to join and form a big water molecule. This is due to the, mainly due to the cohesive forces present between the two water molecules. And also, if we see any uh, mercury balls, mercury, if we take any two mercury drops in our, on our hand, if one mercury is here and another mercury ball is here, whenever we they come close together, they join and they form a big mercury drop. This is also due to the cohesive forces between the two mercury balls or two mercury molecules or two mercury balls. So next coming to another type that is adhesive forces. This is nothing but force of attraction between two different molecules. So example, glass water, paint and wall. Marker and whiteboard. All these are the examples for the adhesive forces. Adhesive forces is nothing but force of attraction between two different molecules. Two different molecules means what? So, suppose example, I am taking a water in a glass. So, after, after removing the water from the glass also, we observe, sometimes we observe the water molecules are attached to the glass surface. This is due to the adhesive forces present between the glass molecule and the water molecule. And second one, paint and wall. We know, we observe, if when we paint any wall surface, the it is stitched, attached to that wall surface only. This is also due to the adhesive forces between the paint molecules and wall surface molecules. And next, when we observe, uh, we are writing uh, on board with the chalk. The, uh, ch the letters are attached to the that, uh, letters which write with chalk are attached to the uh, board surface. This is also due to the adhesive forces between the those two. And also, this, right, see, the, I, when I am writing with marker on this whiteboard, it the uh, ma marker ink molecules are attached to the whiteboard. This is also due to the adhesion between the these two marker and whiteboard. So, this is about the cohesive forces and adhesive forces. Why we have to know about these two forces when we going to discuss with uh, uh, surface tension means surface tension is mainly due to the cohesive forces. So, let us discuss the surface tension. Examples of the cohesive forces are if you observe when we drop a If this is paint brush, so while, while, while we painting, we draw, dip the brush in the water. When we dip the brush in the water, the hairs of the brush are placed like this. So what happens, the water molecules, uh, till now the water molecules are close together. So due to the dipping of the brush, they get apart from this surface. So what they want to do always due to cohesive forces be present between the water molecules, they always want to come together. So after lifting the brush from the water surface, some water molecules are attached to the 
uh, hairs of the brush. So what they want to do, they always want to come to closer. So after lifting, that's why they come to close together. That's why it forms a cone shape. This is also due to the cohesive forces between the water molecules. Okay. Weak cohesive intermolecular forces between the water molecules and strong cohesive intermolecular forces between the mercury molecules. This is due to cohesive forces are present between the same type of molecules and again in that cohesive forces, weak cohesive forces and strong cohesive forces are there. So, uh, among the water molecules, weak cohesive forces are there. For example, I pour a water on the surface. So, what those water molecules do is they go in a straight line, they does not go in a straight line. Some water molecules take this path and some water molecules take this path and some water goes straight. This is due to the weak cohesive forces between the water molecules. That's why when we take any water droplet, when uh, if we apply any force on the uh, force on that, they get uh, detach each other very easily. This is due to the weak cohesive forces between the water molecules. And if we see the strong cohesive, uh, coming to strong cohesive forces, they are present between the mercury molecules. Suppose if you have a mercury mercury balls on your hand, if you apply any force or uh, force or load on that mercury balls to detach the mercury molecules, it is. Uh, Hard. It takes some time to break the mercury molecules. After even uh, even we are applying the load on that because this is due to the strong cohesive forces between the mercury molecules. So coming when coming to the water molecules, there is a adhesive forces are uh, greater than cohesive forces. Coming to mercury, there are greater cohesive forces than adhesive forces.